Okay, this video uh, explains, this is for the uh, using databases under the staff group. This is for the resident database. This particular video is talking about how to, what the functions of each one of the resident records or forms can do for that resident. And uh, we'll go ahead and open uh, up this section here. We'll go to the resident database. And then we will, let's just go ahead and take a look at Eunice's background here. So I want to see what Eunice has going on. I press edit and we'll see Eunice's name. We'll see that she's in the resident group. Here's her email address. We do not get to see her password. If she does want to change her password, she can do that on her own when she logs in. And she can also edit her address and phone number and her birthday. And she can also upload her own picture, but obviously, since we're in a staff member, we're saying that you can change all this information too. If she wants a better picture, she would select remove, and then upload a better picture using the browse button. Now, down here is a couple of sections. Be in directory, and this uh, icon or this little box here with a check mark means she wants to be in the directory and she is in the directory. And then also make spotlight. And I'll show you what those two things are really quick. Now, let's say I want to show you, I'm going to show you what the directory is. And let's say I am another independent resident and I'm logged in. And I want to make it a couple of new friends in the community. And I have to connect them with me in order for me to talk with them through the system. So I go to invite people. And this is everybody that said that they wanted to be in the directory. And I go to Eunice, and I see that Eunice uh, likes golfing and likes tennis. And, you know, my name is Alex, and I like golfing and tennis, and I want her to be my friend to the system. I select her name, and then what happens is I sent her an invitation to be my friend in the system. All right, so that's what the directory is for. Now, um, let's go back, and I'll show you whoa, the other section that was called the resident spotlight. The resident spotlight spotlights one resident a month and tells a little bit about that resident. This could be for somebody who's just recently moved into the community, somebody who's maybe won an award of some kind, somebody that you just think is a great person and you think that they should be spotlighted. Uh, everybody can see the flash box and um, when it comes time for her to roll around in the flash box, comes up here in a second, you'll see uh, what the resident spotlight looks like. There it is. So it's Eunice Aiken. She's in the resident spotlight. It tells a little bit about her story in life or whatever she wants to talk about or you want to tell other people about her. So let's go ahead back here and, <clears throat> excuse me, and um, uh, again, we just saw what the directory was for people inviting her, for her introducing herself to other people in the community, and also you as a staff member uh, introducing her to the community through the flash box. Okay? When you want to take her out of the spotlight, you go back to her, you just select unselect it, and she won't be in the spotlight anymore. Okay? Now, the next section here is the document. If you have any sort of document file that you want to attach particularly to this resident, whether it's uh, something about her personally, whether it's uh, you know her favorite hobbies or some type of information that maybe the employees would want to know about her, you can put that in there. It could be an outstanding bill. It could be whatever you want it to be. And we'll just leave that up to you. But you can attach a file, a document uh, to each resident to kind of keep that there for safekeeping for whatever reason you want it for, okay? Now down here at the bottom, this is going to show you who she is uh, family and friends with in the system. She's friends with Alex. She's friends with the demonstration. She's friends with this person and all these people. And now you can also either add or take away friends as well. So, for example, unfortunately, let's say Gail Masterson has passed on, and uh, we want to take her. Uh, we want her not to be connected with um, Eunice. I will say if you take Gail out of the system if she passes on using the delete button on her record, she will also be deleted here. But let's say, for example, Gail does not want to be friends anymore. 
with Eunice, or Eunice does not want to be friends anymore with Gail, you can just select Delete, and you'll notice that Gail is gone. Um, and you can also add people up here. So if there's another indie resident that wants to be your friend, you can find them. Or, for example, even a prospect like uh, Joe Jackson who wants to be your friend, you press Add Prospect, and then you'll notice down here that Joe Jackson is appearing. And the one thing that everybody, you want to make sure, no matter what changes that you make in this section, whether it's to put somebody in the directory or take them out of the directory or add a document, or change a picture, whatever change you make before you leave this screen, you want to make sure you save it, otherwise you're going to lose your information. All right? So that basically tells you a little bit about the form and all the functions of the form for each resident and how to use them.